Hey, we got a fishing level. All right, 86 fishing. What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 47, I think, of the Iron Man Progress series. So we are almost to 50, which is incredible. And we're starting off right where we left off at the end of episode 46, doing some dark crabs. I have a few goals in mind for this episode. One, the primary goal being the Abyssal Bludgeon. So after I'm wrapped up here, I will try to go get an Abyssal Demon task and hopefully see you guys with an Unsired. Oh, okay, so we're done with the task. Ooh, that's a good drop to end on. We just had a nice little task of 19 Black Dragons. Thought I would come here and mess around with the bow. It's definitely good. Oh, that is just awesome. That is the perfect note to end my night on. It's currently 5 a.m. I'm about to go to bed. But we just got ourselves an Abyssal Demon task. 238 of them. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm looking forward to doing a full day of Abyssal Sire and completing my bludgeon. Okay, I think this is kill 1,000. Man, 1,000 Abyssal Sire kills. That is just absolutely crazy. Two out of three bludgeon pieces. Watch it take freaking 2,000 kill count to get the last bludgeon piece. That was a joke, Jagex. That's the first time in 1,037 kills that's happened. Body talisman, mind talisman, back to back. Just give me my fucking unsired, man. I got back to back talismans and then nothing. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, this could be it. 1,072 kill count. We just got our fifth. No, our sixth unsire. We're under a 1 in 200 drop rate finally. Let's go trade this in. Honestly, since I only have one bludgeon piece remaining, I don't have too good of a feeling about this. It's like equal chance between dagger and bludgeon piece. Please don't give me a whipper. Just, just end my suffering. <sighs> Not today. Not today. Alright, we got an abyssal dagger, dude. Whatever. Kill 1,100. Um, 134 left on the task, so I honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't think we're going to finish it. I don't think we're going to get a single unsired in these next 134 kills, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Hey, I don't know the rate on that, but uh, we got an elite on kill 1,141. Let's see if we can do the first step. We can't do the bob shirt requirement. That one I can do, so maybe I'll get into that soon. Just why, though? This 1,200 kill count. And we also have uh, 35 left on the task, so it is what it is, you know? <laughs> My friend just called this drop like 30 kills ago. You're kidding me. We've had 2D spears, 2 dragon stones, 2D meds, you name it, man. I've hidden everything under a drop table at this point. Five kills left on the task. We've picked ourselves up unsired number seven. Don't trust it, guys. Do not trust it. This is this is a false hope. Early grads to me on my second dagger. Well, not gonna waste any more time. Let's throw this in there. Bloop. Did I say second dagger? I meant second jar. Well, 238 more Abyssal Sires in the bag. The task is now over, though. Let's go try to hunt down another Abyssal Demon task and <laughs> come back for the day. And night, and tomorrow, by the way. We got the Slayer Cape in the inventory for the 10% chance to get reassigned our previous task. Uh, 31, that's too quick. I'm not going to skip that, that's too quick. Hey, we got another Abyssal Demon assignment. This is three tasks after the last one, so I guess we got pretty lucky there. Let's get back into Sire. Kill number 1,300. So, we have 137 left on the task. We're going to end the task on 1437. Um, I got a pretty good feeling about this, though. Shout out to the boy Door to Light, just found me a dragon impling. Let's uh, catch that. Hopefully, we can get some dragon arrow tips. Ooh, six snaps. Six snap seeds. Thank you, buddy. Ah. Oh my god, what a relief. We actually got one this task. 81 kills left. Kill 1356. We got ourselves our third jar of miasma. Nice. Third time's the charm. Bloop. Kill 1400 for Cosmic Runes. 37 left on the task. Looks like we're on track to hit 2k kill count sometime within the week. This wouldn't be so frustrating if this place wasn't like 15 kills an hour. Are you kidding me? Did I just get a magic level here? 
Before I started, Sire, I was 100k magic XP away from this level. And the only training I've been doing is shadow bursting this dude to put him to sleep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've been here for a while. How much XP does this even give? Let's see. 49 XP a cast, and I got 100k XP here. Holy fuck, 30 seconds left, and... Where are my Pegasians at? 30 seconds left till the update. Oh, oh I got him, oh fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a horrible time to die at Sire. Oh my fucking heart, dude. Okay, I'm gonna pick everything up and log off. So the Abyssal Demon task is done now. 1437 kill count as predicted. We have 163 Slayer points. We just need to get one more Abyssal Demon task. That's all it's gonna take. One more, I can feel it. Let's see if this stupid Slayer Cape perk will finally kick in. Nope, it's not. Okay, so we have five cancels. Uh, good luck us. I... Alright, we're out of skips. And... Eh, that's fast. Wow, the very first kill of our Mithril Dragon task. We actually got some chewed bones. I love trading these things in. That Dragon Full Helmet is so prestigious. Oh, PJ'd. Alright, let's construct this pyre. The task is done. And we get an anti-poison mix. Dead content. Whoops, just spoke to myself for two minutes again. My OBS was recording the wrong screen. But we just finished task number 700. We have a healthy amount of points now for some more skips. Just did my Anku task. I always do my Anku tasks in the wildy now because of the dark fishing bait. Dark crabs are so nice. I just need to get an Abyssal Demon task tonight before I go to bed. You could probably hear it in my voice. I've been up for like 24 hours. I just want to get the task before bed. Can't cancel that one. Okay. Man, what a relief. We got an Abyssal Demon task. 204 of them. I'll save that one for tomorrow. I feel like shit right now. I'm gonna go pass out. 204. Come on, we have to finish it by then. Alright, it's the next day and I'm ready to finish that Sire task. This is gonna be my gear for the day because I got a letter from the power company saying they're doing construction and my power's gonna shut off for about 8 hours today. So, I'm not gonna stop doing Sire, but if it does go out when I go to Sire, I'm just gonna... Except the loss and all this stuff is going to disappear. Okay, so now the power is completely out. Luckily, I wasn't in the middle of a Sire kill when it went out. I have two and a half hours of battery left on my laptop, and I'm using my phone's data as a hotspot to play. So, let's do Sire for those few hours, and then I'm just going to fucking go read a book or something. I don't know, this is stupid. Oh my god, we actually got another unsired. Holy cow, I am in pitch black darkness right now. My screen is on the lowest, like, <clears throat> the lowest brightness possible. I can't see anything, dude. That's freaking amazing, though. We got an unsired. Oh, my God. Come on, let me leave this place, please. I've been here forever. Oh, now I'm in the dark, and I'm sad. All right, 1,500 kill count. I'm going to stop there for the night, though, because I'm having some seriously bad lag spikes on this hotspot, and the poison puddles are killing me every other kill, but, yeah, making pretty good progress. Maybe, maybe tomorrow's the day. Dude, we got another unsired. This is my first time ever receiving an unsired within the drop rate of my previous unsired. Oh, I'm so thankful, dude. Alright, I went and I grabbed my other two bludgeon pieces. I'm gonna make the game feel horrible if they don't give me this third bludgeon piece this time around. Let's go. Alright, <laughs> 1600 kill count it is. You're kidding me! We got another unsired on 1586? Oh my god, I have to look back at my previous clips. Regardless of the shitty drops, we've actually been lucky here. This is unsired number 11, I think, on... Almost 1.6k kill count, so we're catching up. Let's end it here. Oh, it's always this sick feeling in my gut before I drop this in here. Gotta get over that. We're gonna be here for a while, probably. Yep. <laughs> yep, okay, we're gonna be here for a while, but... Second dagger, um... I'll see you guys with 1600 kill count. What the hell? Another unsired? What? That's full... One? Two, that's like three kills after the... Oh man, they really, they're really trying to throw me a bone here, but it's not working, I'm still depressed. And I'm not bringing my other bludgeon pieces anymore because it's just, it's way too painful to deposit them back in my bank. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, 
Yes! 1,589 kill count. The bludgeon is complete. Yes! If anyone has worse luck than me, I would love to hear it in the comments. Because, man, that was a grind. Almost 500, it was, no, about 600 kill count. 600 Abyssal Sires this episode. <sighs> what a finish. The Abyssal Dagger, three kills before the final bludgeon claw. Let's go. Okay, not sure how this works, but let's talk to the slug. And maybe what can I do here? Um, bring me a spine claw. Yep, I can do that for you, buddy. Have you harvested any components? You hand them over. And in return, we take our Abyssal Bludgeon, the Calphite Queen Destroyer. And we're out of here for good. We have the pet. We have the bludgeon. We have happiness. Okay, so the next thing on the to-do list for this episode would be to get a Berserker Ring. Let me take out my Ring of Wealth and show you guys my Rex kill count. View the boss log. Rex is 378 without the Zerker Ring. So, basically, we're smashing all of our dry streaks this episode. Before Dagonoth Kings, though, I have been keeping very rough track of the loot we've been getting from Abyssal Sire. I haven't price checked this at all yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. This is 600 kills of loot here. And as you can see, we got some really, really nice stuff. I really don't like how we got more Cadden times than the other herbs, though, because we have no white berries. But we cannot complain. This should be worth a lot. Let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sire is very good money per hour, that makes sense. I did like 12 hours a day there for about 4 days straight, so... 42 mil in pure supplies and Alks going on the account. Really couldn't be more happy with that. Um, and I'm also really, really happy to be able to leave. Oh yeah, and gearing up for DKs, I just noticed I didn't add any cash in that price check. We started with 3 mil, so go ahead and add 4.5 mil pure cash to that price check. You're kidding me! The very first Rex kill, we came all the way here, the very first Rex kill, we get our Berserker Ring. What a fucking beautiful sight. <laughs> we're, we're out of here. Okay, 890k points now. I didn't check how much I need, but that should be plenty. Uh, I needed 650k. Oh, so I went a little bit over. It's not a bad thing, though. The points here are always very good. Okay, the next goal on the checklist for this episode, I want to start working on 93 crafting for the Amulet of Torture. We have a lot of crafting supplies saved up in the bank, um, about 4k gems, and from Cerberus and Abyssal Sire combined, we have about 2.2k orbs for battle staffs. So that's a lot of XP that might get us to 92.5, and, and if we look at our Zenite stash, we have 5 Zenites, so we got pretty lucky there, I guess, more than enough to make the torture. Uh, it's really good at Calphite Queen, and it's really good at Cerberus. We don't have our Eternal Boots yet, and we need a lot of supplies from Calphite Queen for Herb Lore, so... So yeah, just the gems is gonna get us about 92 and a half. We haven't even touched the diamonds yet. And here we are getting 92 crafting, so I'm gonna use up all my gems, and... Oh, I can make the Anguish without boosting now. That feels, feels pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use up all my gems, all the battle staffs, and that should get us close to 93, and then I'm gonna go to bed and just finish it tomorrow. Then we'll have the very last piece of jewelry that you can craft, the torture. Whoops, didn't have my recording software open and was talking to myself yet again, but 93 crafting is achieved plus 5 boost means we can get the amulet of torture. Same strength bonus as a strength ammo, plus 10 with 15 offense. Pretty sure I'm going to be using that thing everywhere. Thanks buddy. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food though before I attempt the plus five boost because they can be very frustrating when you're hungry. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna correct one of my biggest mistakes I've made so far on this account, buying the obsidian armor. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this stuff. You're kidding me, you're gonna buy it for 6,000 total. You're gonna buy it for one-tenth of the price. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna go check how much this obsidian armor is. I'm not gonna sell that. That's an insult. And hopefully 20k chaos runes plus this obsidian armor is enough to get one onyx. Alright, just sold off the obsidian armor. I forgot to put my gloves on. How much do you buy it for with the gloves on? 14k, whatever. Fuck you, dude. I'll take it. That was really close. 856 chaos runes. I think an onyx is 260k. Yes, it is. Okay, we combine this with the zenite shard. We don't even need a boost to do that anymore. Then it's off to get the plus 5 boost for the torture amulet. God, I got the boost on my final stew. No way. No way. Let's make this amulet. 
Ah, oh, yes, the torture. I don't even have a ball of wool in my bank. So I got to run to Arduin right now. I'm not on Lunars to string it, but that is amazing. I was getting ready to go hunt down some more spices right after that stew. Really big goal on the Iron Man. It's the torture amulet. You string it, then you enchant it. And, man, I think they did a really good job on the design of this amulet. It just looks powerful to me. I don't like the ornament kit for it, but the amulet itself is very, very nice, very useful. Who remembers that elite clue that we got from Abyssal Sire towards the beginning of this episode? Well, I finally got around to it. Let's see what we get. A master clue! No freaking way! I was thinking of trading this thing in for a master clue, but I don't have enough confidence in myself to complete these. However... If we get one for free, I'm I'm obliged to try it. Eighth step of the master clue, so this has to be the casket when we combine them. There it is, master clue number 12 on the account. Can we get a unique? Nope, still no unique for master clues, but the Narda teleports are pretty good. 11k cash, that is pitiful. Okay, I think I'm going to cut things off for this episode right here. I personally enjoyed this episode a bunch because the gear upgrades... We got three major things knocked out that help with Cerberus and Calphite Queen quite a bit, so I'm excited to test those out. But I don't want to do Calphite Queen without the Desert Elite Diary done, so we need 11 more thieving levels for that. I'm going to get into that right now. And after each thieving level, I'm probably going to do a trip at Bandos to try to get some tasks, just see if we can get lucky there. So come back next episode for that. I'm personally excited for it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and in the description down below, I'm going to put two links to my friend's channel who also make Iron Man videos, and they're very similar to mine. If you enjoy my content, you're going to like them, so check them out. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.